Hi, everybody. Shane R. Monroe here. We have a quick one for you today looking at the new official, yes, official GeForce Now support for the Steam Deck. Those of you dying to play some of those Windows-only games, this is going to be the way. So right here on the official page, we're going to go download from the official Steam Deck link. This is so great. I'm just all excited here. We'll save to downloads, and it's a zip file, so that doesn't look like a .desktop script or a batch, a bash script. And we'll go into here and we'll extract it. I'm dying to see what's in here and how this works. Here we go. Okay, it doesn't look like a .desktop or a .sh, so let's go ahead and run it. Yes, we will execute. Well, it turns out it is kind of a script. It's going to install Google Chrome. It's going to change some flat pack settings. It's going to add a shortcut. Um, so uh, this is a lot of what we were doing manually before, but this has NVIDIA seal of approval. So I'm hoping we'll see something different here. We'll choose to use the user flat pack. And we'll, again, we're not going to cut any of this off. I want you to see exactly what it does and how long it takes. Now, if you already have Google uh, Chrome installed, I, I don't know what this would do if it would just skip this part. Um, I do not have Google Chrome installed. So now it's going to add it to Steam. You can see the little bouncing Steam logo next to the uh, mouse pointer. Seems to be taking um, taking his sweet time doing so. Make sure there's something stuck. Is something not working? Hmm. Well, we're going to leave this in. Oh, there we go. Just took a while. Interesting. Then, of course, Steam had to do its long thing. And come on, let's see what you got. All right, so what we got here is return to uh, gaming mode and run it as a non-Steam game. Okay, we can do that. I'm easy. So let's go ahead and flip ourselves back over to uh, gaming mode and let's see the fruits of our labor here. All right, we're back. Let me jump into my library, non-Steam. Now you can see I already have one of my tutorial videos still in here for uh, GeForce Now installation. This is the one that I skinned and did all that stuff for, but you can always tell NVIDIA's official one because they have to put their name in front of everything. So this is the one that they just installed. Let's see how it works. Okay, your standard disclaimer, agree and continue. And uh, let's get in. Let's do it. Ah, must log in. All right. Well, I'm not going to make you sit through this. Now, this is kind of weird, though, because you have to use another device like your phone. I mean, I realize everybody has a phone, but it's kind of weird that you can't just log in on the device itself. All right. A couple of uh, quick tour items here. And I know I'm using the mouse, so does it work with the uh, controller? And the answer is yes. You can see here now I'm working with the controller it's a little kludgy, but it does the job. So let's go ahead then and uh, hop ourselves into Call of Duty, which is one of the main games people are going to want to play with this thing. And again, we're going to skip through and just get to the good stuff. Uh, yeah, it works fine. Um, obviously, <laughs> it's hard to play around a microphone. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's it looks fine. It plays fine. Uh, no problems there. I do need to do some controller adjustments, which is great because you can just jump right into Steam Input here. I need to remap the bumpers and the uh, click sticks, right? I mean, that's ridiculous. Who's, nobody uses bumpers or click sticks anymore. So gross. Uh, I'm half asleep here, obviously. So <laughs> let me go ahead and assign the uh, left bumper, left click, right bumper, right click. And then I can hop right back into the game, providing it hasn't kicked me out. But I like this. I like doing this here instead of having to go through the menu system there. Oop, okay, I got the wrong buttons. That's all right, that's all right, that's all right. We're good. Of course, I do have to invert Y because I can't play a first-person shooter without invert Y. Fortunately, once again, this is a quick trip to Steam Input, and you are back in business. There you go. Well, yeah, I mean, it's... It's not a ton better than what we had, but it's a lot easier and it's official, right? That's the important part. NVIDIA has acknowledged the Steam Deck, and that's what is the most important thing to take away from this video is we now have NVIDIA's official support 
for the Steam Deck, and that's a great thing. Listen, uh, if you like what you saw, as usual, please like, subscribe, hit the bell. You guys know what to do. I'm Shane Armonroe. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, take care.